I have got the shakes today. <laughs> I don't know if it's too much coffee or the chocolate I just inhaled. Could be both, I suppose. Hi everyone, welcome back. So today I have, hopefully, I always say this, but hopefully a quick little haul. A few things I've picked up lately. Everyone loves a good haul. So I'm just gonna share a few of the most recent, per few of my most recent purchases. And I'll just get into it because nobody wants to listen to me blab. <laughs> I feel like I'm gonna stumble all over my words. I've got major sugar shakes happening right now. But anyways, first things first, they're definitely out of season, but I had a company contact me and ask me if I wanted to um, order a few bathing suits off their website. And I said, sure. So they sent them along and I actually really loved them. So I'm gonna share them with you guys. The link to the website will be down below. They're all very inexpensive, but super, super cute. Way better quality than I thought they were going to be for the price. So the first one that I picked out was this really high-waisted. It's gonna look so like grandma underwear right now. I, they, these always look terrible when you hold them up. Um, the first ones I got were these cute lemon print. This is actually a reversible bottom. So you can change it into black and white stripes on the bottom as well. Obviously you wouldn't see the lemons coming through on the other side but i love the all lemon look super cute if we had another trip going to like italy or something warm i would be super excited to wear this but hopefully i still fit into it the next time we travel because who knows when that'll be um and then the top just looks like this nice and flowy comes down kind of below bra level so it is it covers quite a lot i think i got this in a small Okay, yeah, there's no tags of any sort on it, but I'm pretty sure that is a small, pretty sure. <laughs> and it does fit a little bit big. I think I'm actually gonna have to take the, um, the bottoms in a little bit at the waist. The next one I got is just a plain blue suit, sky blue. I got this one in a small. Bottoms look like that, so they're kind of like a sporty, cheeky kind of bottom. But the top is my favorite part, the pot, the pot. Bottom is what, the top, oh my God, is what drew me to it. I would probably just wear this like I would mix and match it with all my other bathing suits, but it's like an off the shoulder, flowy, light blue um, bathing suit. And then it also comes with a strap if you've got some big ladies to deal with, which I clearly do not, but um, yeah, really simple, cute. And then my favorite one, I really wasn't sure how this one was gonna come out because I, I wasn't very, I was very unsure of the sizing. I got this one in a small as well. Yellow pinstripes, so cute. And it's tie, tie waist. So easily adjustable. The bottoms are not Brazilian, but not exactly full coverage. <laughs> but I actually prefer that on my body type and it's good for tan lines as well. And then the top is just as cute. It's kind of like bralette style with a little crisscross in the front and then adjustable back with a little bow, nice sturdy adjustable straps. I love this like ice cream, cutesy pinstripe kind of yellow and I just love it. We need to go somewhere. I wanna wear these now. <laughs> okay. Um, what else have I got here? Got kind of a mix of a whole bunch of different stuff. Where do I go? Um, I think I'll jump over to jewelry. I celebrated my birthday, September 18th. I turned the big 3-0. I almost wasn't gonna say it, but what the hell. Yes, I'm 30 years old. Yikes. I still feel like I'm about 21 or so though. <laughs> and I know Ken definitely does too. I bought myself a little birthday present and it actually was delivered on my birthday, which was awesome. If you follow Lily Pebbles or Samantha Maria, then you'll know all about this brand. It's called Misoma. I believe it's made somewhere in the UK. Could be wrong on that. That might be just the Lily Pebbles thing that I'm associating it with. But I got the small name plate. I think that's what it's called, small name plate necklace. It sits quite high up and it is definitely a very gold. I wasn't expecting it to be that gold even though I see it in the Pebbles videos like every week. But yeah, I love it. It's like my first nice piece of real jewelry other than my wedding rings and my engagement ring obviously. So I'm keeping it in its box. That does not go to work with me. I just keep my, my usual necklace on that Ken got me in high school. That's what I usually put my rings on at work. I leave that on most of the time and then this is for the weekends. And then to go along with that, I actually wanted the horse it's called horn necklace, I think, from Misoma as well, but they're quite expensive. They're a couple hundred dollars each. So I settled for a really cheap version from Forever 21. I don't actually love it facing forward. I like to wear it backwards when I remember to do that because it's just solid gold. But um, it kind of resembles the Misoma one, and this one is $7 versus $200. So since I got the expensive nameplate one, I decided to cheap out on this one. This is more of like a trendy piece anyways with the big horn. The name 
the little A in the center of it is gonna be last me a lot longer I feel like okay so moving on I got a pair of sunglasses how long do I go without buying a pair of sunglasses maybe a couple weeks at a time it's like buying bags and shoes they like oh they always fit right so it's easy to just like oh yeah I could use another pair of those Ken's actually banned me from buying any more sunglasses. I think I may have said that in a previous video, but I just keep buying them anyways. I found these at HomeSense slash Winners. Um, they are by Kate Spade. They're a pretty light pink, very retro style sunglass. I like them with my hair up. When my bangs are down, I think they feel very retro, cute. I wore them with like an all pink outfit a couple weeks ago. Ken was like, that was a bit much, but <laughs> I still like them nonetheless. Yeah, I like that angular kind of shape on my face because my face is very, resembles an egg, let's say. This gives me a little bit of shape to my face. Another clothing item. I think we're going to do a whole post on must-have items for fall on my blog. Maybe I'll do a video to go along with that. I need to dust. <laughs> but one item that I'm kind of a little bit obsessed with, I don't know where this came from. Actually, I do. When we were in Tyax for a wedding, one of the wedding guests there was wearing, she was a mom of two, chasing these little toddlers around. She just looked like the coolest mom ever. She was wearing just a puffer jacket, like a sporty kind of puffer jacket, plain white tee, and like oversized, over, over, oversized denim shorts. And she just looked so cool. And I've kind of been obsessed with that look ever since, even though it's totally not normally what I wear. Um, yeah, there was something about it that I loved. So I went out and found myself a black puffer jacket, just like hers. Um, I got that one several weeks ago, but then I found this one as well from Walmart for $20. The other one was a fair bit more expensive. So that's why I'm sharing this one um, from Walmart. Basically the same exact thing. I got an extra small, but a small probably would have fit better. It's by the brand George, which is Walmart's brand. It's a bright red color. It's gonna look great in outdoorsy kind of photos for Instagram and stuff. I just love it. I don't know what it is about this look that I love so much. Maybe I'm like trying to be more Canadian and outdoorsy, but um, super comfy, looks great with denim. Not at all waterproof, somewhat warm, more of a fashion statement than the outdoorsy look, but you know, that's that. Okay, <laughs> makeup. Um, I caved and bought the Naked Heat palette. When this first came out, I was thinking, who the heck is gonna wear those colors? Like, I look terrible in like pinky red tones. Like, that's, that's just not gonna work on me. I'm gonna look like I had a bad reaction to something, <laughs> as I normally do. I'm allergic to everything on my face. But I've seen, again, the Lily Pebbles and Anna from the Anna edit, especially Anna, I think she wears it ton and she just wears it so well. I just thought it looked really new and fresh and very different to my Naked palette, or really, the original one with all the bronzy kind of colors, which is what I'm wearing today. It's what I wear most days. It's just an easy swipe on kind of thing. But this was just something a little different. I feel like I had an excuse to buy it if it's a little different than the rest of my stuff and I wanted to try it out. So it looks like that. Um, and they're all kind of burgundy, reddy, mix of mattes and shimmers, a light color for the inner corner or, or um, on the brow. I still am not totally convinced that the reddy colors look good on me. I have fun playing with it, but I think I'll probably get more use out of the darker burgundy kind of colors, especially leading up into fall here. I'm gonna try to play with those a little bit more and work on my ability to smoke out eyeshadows, I guess. I don't know, I always do the same thing. My only complaint with this is that one, I don't really like the brush that comes with it. It's very stiff and considering how pigmented these colors are, you need a pretty fluffy brush to make sure it doesn't, you don't get like a whack of color on your eye. Um, and I don't really like the packaging. I don't know, is that, I haven't really heard many people talk about the packaging, but really plasticky, it's very heavy, clunky, thick, not travel friendly. I much prefer, oh, I have it right here. I much prefer the original, is this? Yeah, I think this is the very first one. Um, naked palette, but it's nice, slim, really lightweight. Um, it came with a pretty good brush. I don't know, I just pref much prefer the look of this one. It feels more expensive to me than this like clanky kind of shiny plasticky one. I know it's kind of stupid to judge a product on its packaging, but definitely I am that person. If it's not pretty or aesthetically pleasing, I have trouble buying something if I don't think it's pretty. Moving on, another Walmart purchase was this little bag recently. It was in the clearance section for $12, and I thought it just resembled so much of what you see on Pinterest with people like carrying around their little laptop bag, and a lot of them are really expensive, all leather versions. This was 12 bucks, um, and it does the trick. It fits my laptop, my camera. I fit both my cameras and my laptop in here, sunglasses, everything else that I really need. 
fit in here and it has good supportive straps. I hope it holds out for a while. It's got a nice magnetic clasp in the center there. It's blue on the inside, which is fun. Yeah, I take it to work with me every day. I put my lunch in there. And then all I really take with me is a pair of socks and my ID, wallet, cell phone, keys. And I have a few lipsticks in there, headphones, ginger gravel, the usual. Um, yeah, got that recently and I love it. If you're in Canada, is there one? there's Walmart's America, isn't there? <laughs> Pretty sure there is. Um, head down to your local Walmart and see if you can find one. Okay, last item is a clothing item from Forever 21. I'm getting into the whole pajama blouse. Well, I've always kind of been into it, but I never dove into it. I tried a few of the romper styles a couple of times and I just didn't feel like they're all that flattering on me. They never looked quite right and I knew they would never look good in photos. So there's just no reason to buy it if it's not going to look good in a photo, right? When you're a blogger. So I went with the half version, <laughs> just a plain blouse from Forever 21. I got mine in a small, this is, it was relatively expensive for a Forever 21 item. I want to say it was like $32 or so. I felt like it did look, it looked like a Zara item, which I mean, if it doesn't feel cheap, it doesn't look cheap, I don't mind paying $32 for it. I love the print of it. It reminded me of being back in Hawaii. I love this pinstripe here on the black, and then it's got the black little buttons, and then the little pinstripe at the sleeve here. I think it's gonna look great tucked into, like, tucked into denim, um, with skirts, casual. It could be dressed up with, like, black trousers or something like that as well. But yeah, very happy with it. I've only worn it a few times, and I better get to wearing it because fall is, it's coming. It's a coming. <laughs> <laughs> it feels like it became fall overnight here. I was in skirts and sandals a couple weeks ago and now I sleep in full on flannel pajamas and I wake up cold. I've looked for my slippers first thing. Ken is very happy about it, but I'm a summer girl, so I'm a little sad to see the summer go. But fall means Christmas is that much closer and I'm a little bit obsessed with watching Christmas movies like five times a day, so. So I think that's all I've got to share right now. Of course, there is lots of other things that I've been purchasing. I did make a big purchase. I bought a new camera, yeek, not too long ago, but I was thinking about actually doing a full tech haul of all the different stuff that I bought lately. I've kind of revamped my whole collection of stuff. I'm still using my big DSLR to film this because I haven't quite figured out how to use the other one and it doesn't have flip screen, which makes it that much harder. But if you'd like to see a tech haul, I kind of find those interesting because half of my work that I do on the blog is behind the scenes. It's all tech related, teaching myself how everything works and that kind of stuff. So if you want to know what kind of camera I bought and all the accessories and everything, Thing, let me know. Maybe that'll be the next one you see from me and I will see you in the next one. Bye!